be watching a scary video requested by one of my subscribers. Shout out to you. Um, yeah, so after this video, I will basically be cowering away in the corner of the room, scared, no sleep. So, uh, yeah, uh, make sure you like this video because I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it is night time. I'm already looking around. See, already paranoid. The video hasn't even started yet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What am I getting myself into? I love you guys. I'm doing it. Okay. Um, if you're new to my channel, why don't you can hit that subscribe button, that like button, comment down below. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get into this video. Oh, okay, all right, let's get into it. The True Haunted House Horror Story Animated. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, what am I doing with my life? Okay, um, y'all, what am I doing with my life? I already don't get enough sleep as it is, and now I'm about to be watching this? Okay. When I was around eight years old, I transferred to another school in the middle of the summer. Because I was so young at that time, I was able to get along with my classmates quickly. One day, all the girls left the class for their prior engagements, and the boys asked me to join them to go somewhere, saying they had found something interesting. I followed them through the paddy fields behind the school, and there was a three-story house that had been deserted a long time ago. School finished early that day, so the sun was still up. The exterior of the house was not too scary except for a broken window. Well, nothing here. Five of my friends and I went inside and we saw the window broken on the stairs leading up to the second floor. I thought it was just an ordinary restaurant when I saw it from outside. But as soon as I went up to the second floor, I could say that it was definitely someone's house. But the weird thing was that the ins- Why would you go in there? Why would you get get some new friends? Hello? Just get some new friends or just be a loner. I'd rather be a loner than have Annabelle chasing me around, following out her. Bro, not, not even let me say her name, bro. I don't even want to say her name, bro. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. The night was so cold that it was almost freezing, although it was sunny and especially hot that day. And all the furniture was standing upside down. We then came into the main room and one of my friends found a wallet on top of a pile of furniture. When he opened it up, there was a resident registration card and cash inside. I suddenly got goosebumps. So I asked him to put the wallet down and turn my eyes to the living room for a moment. And it was exactly that moment. It wasn't clearly visible, but there was a woman's silhouette in a long dress dancing in the living room oh she was heck no girl oh heck no what is she doing she's doing a walk ghosts in this house there's some ghosts in this house there's some ghosts in this okay she's doing jumping up and down swinging her arms from side to side and that was the creepiest scene i've ever seen before we were the only people in this house so being surprised I looked at my friends and looked back into the living room again. And there was no one there anymore. Guys, I'm scared. We should leave. I told my friends and they got scared too. So they followed right after me. The moment we got out. This is not going good. I thought, like, I keep thinking she gonna be everywhere. Like, every which way. <laughs> Bro. Of the main room. The door suddenly oh. slammed shut. What was that? One of the friends tried. This is a freaking cartoon, and I'm jumping and stuff like that. Open the door, but it didn't but open, as, as if it was locked. Just then, I realized the other one who had found a wallet was still holding it. And we all screamed and ran downstairs. As soon as we were about to go home, someone began to make a fuss about that he'd left his shoe bag upstairs. We had no choice but to decide the people to go back inside by playing rock, paper, scissors. Eventually, I was the one who lost. So I had to go upstairs with him. But as soon as we went up, we couldn't say any words and couldn't believe what we just saw. The bedroom door was open. 
We couldn't even think of bringing back the shoe bag. We just had to run downstairs in a rush with a loud scream. The next day, I came back home after playing outside with my friends as usual. And that evening, I heard my friend who took the wallet was in a car accident on his way home by bicycle. Unfortunately, he was not seriously injured. However, I didn't feel good about it anyway. So a few days later, we ended up heading back to the deserted house oh to return gosh. the wallet. Oh my gosh, it's dumb people like this. It's dumb people like this who freaking make me so mad. Oh, you know, I'm gonna just go to a haunted house and you know, we're just gonna go in there and we're gonna see a woman doing the wop in the freaking living room. And then, you know, we go to the basement. We just hide out there cause we run down into the basement where it's safe. After we just got a door shut on us, then, you know, miraculously, my friend gets into a car accident going after coming from the house. So, you know, the only thing we had to do was not stay away from the house, not just forget about the house, not piss off the ghost even more. We had to go back to the house. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. And there was something inside. Just I can tell you that there was literally nothing in the living room or on the second floor when we first went there. However, now there was a baby doll hanging on the light. I will never forget that experience my whole life. You know what? I got something to tell you, Bob or Jim, because you sound like a Bob. Why did you go back to the house? I don't care if you guys were some little kids, okay? You know, I'm not even scared anymore. I'm freaking mad, okay? I'm freaking mad. I'm sorry. I'm not scared anymore. I was scared in the beginning, but now I'm not. I'm just upset with those kids, you know? How could you just go back? That just reminds me of a freaking movie where they... You you guys know that one student, uh, that one uh, movie, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark? That freaking girl who took spoilers spoilers but that freaking girl who took the book and it's just like that it's just like that he took the wallet and bad things started happening oh let me go back to the house let me go back i don't, I don't understand like <sighs> calm collected calm and collected you know what i'm out this video okay you know what person if you ever see this video i don't feel sorry for, wait i'm sorry Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. No, no, my bad. My bad. You know what? Good to you. Okay, I, I'm out. Bye.